Welcome to this video. It's the first in a series of videos that are going to be part of a beginner's guide to building an FPV flying wing like the one you see right here. Now this is just the introduction to the series. There will be a variety of videos over the course and so because it's the introduction today I just want to give you a little bit of an overview of what the video series will cover give you a little bit of background about me so you have an idea of what you're getting into when you watch these videos and then towards the end we'll go over just very briefly all of the parts and components that we'll need to go into this particular wing all right so let's take a look beginning at what we're going to cover in this particular series of videos so it is going to be intended more for people who have never built a wing before maybe you've got a little bit of experience building other things but it's more intended for, for novice and beginning builders. In the beginning, we'll discuss all of the parts in detail that we'll need to, to build this, the hardware, all of the components and everything that you need, and some other options that might be available for you. We'll take a look at the actual construction and putting together of the model and all of the hardware components that need to go inside to make it work. We'll configure all of the software, both for flight controller, radio, everything else that we need in order to be able to control the model properly. We will go through the steps of setting it up on the bench to make sure that everything works as it should. And then finally, we'll take it outside and we'll launch it and take it out for its maiden flight, which should be a fairly interesting experience all the way through. Now, as a little bit of background, I'm new to FPV wings, but I'm not new to FPV and building. For the last four years, I have been building and flying FPV quadcopters of many different sizes and shapes, and I've become really familiar with the different parts that would go into building them. Now, of course, a quadcopter is not the same as a flying wing, but there are many, many, many parts that are transferable and a lot of the skills that are the same, especially when it comes to building it out. But I do know that I've never flown a wing before and I've never built one. And I really want to be as successful as possible. I want to go out and launch it and have a successful first flight. And so that made a lot of my decisions a lot more clear when I was piecing and parting this out. So let's take a look at that because those are the basic parts that we're going to be needing and so understanding you know, where I come from in my experience and knowledge really should help you understand why I chose some of these items. All right so let's take a look at each of the components we're going to be using. Um, the first one is the actual model itself. This one is the Sonic Model AR Wing Pro and it comes in a box much like this, you can see it's labeled as the plug and play. All right, and the reason I chose this model is for two reasons. One is, excuse me, because it's a plug and play, that means it will have, or it comes with it, sorry, it's gonna make this a little smaller here. Um, what will come with it is the powertrain. And for me, being new to airplanes, I'm not really familiar with you know, all of the dynamics, exactly what you should have in terms of power and thrust and all of that for an airplane. It's different than on a quadcopter. And so by getting a plug and play, Sonic Model has taken all of that sort of confusion out of the equation. It comes with a motor and an ESC and a propeller that are specifically suited to this model. They'll make it fly properly they're the white, right weight, the right kind of thrust and everything. So as a new builder, I don't have to worry about that. Sonic model took care of that issue for me. And as I become more and more familiar in time, I'll start to be able to make some other choices in the future. But for a first build, having it come preset with stuff that is known to work really will be helpful for me as the first time builder. Now, for controlling the flight, I am going to be putting in a flight controller. This is a Matek or Matek, I'm not sure the right pronunciation, 
um, wing flight controller. It's an F405 wing flight controller. Um, and the reason I chose Matic, just briefly, is really good, strong, reliable, and they have amazing, absolutely amazing um, write-ups and technical stuff and photographs about how to install. Uh, documentation is top-notch, so it makes it much, much easier to use. We will also be using a GPS unit. This one happens to be a Beitian. It also happens to have a compass on it, which is strictly not necessary. It won't hurt anything, but you don't strictly need it. The control link that we will be using in this build will be Express LRS. <laughs> They're tiny. That is the entire antenna and receiver. That is it. However, it doesn't matter that it's super tiny. The Express LRS is a very robust, uh, very durable control link. Um, it will cover long distances, even though I have no plan on flying long distance. That extra strength of connection gives me confidence just even over the shorter distances that I'm probably going to fly. It's also very affordable, which is nice because this is a pretty expensive hobby at times. Then lastly, in terms of the FPV, uh, because we are going to be putting an FPV system into it, I'll be using, for this build, analog, because that is still what I fly. If you fly digital, you'll be able to put in your own digital system in this uh, wing with no problem. There's tons of space for it. But I'll be using a Foxier camera for the FPV system. I'll be using um, a Rush VTX, which puts out 800 milliwatts, I believe, on this one. And then I have just a few of the normal circular polarized antennas for the video system. And together, those few components are all we're going to really need in order to build this out from start to finish um, and get it up in the air for the very first time. So I think that's a fair bit to have covered today as an introduction. So um, thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you'll choose to come along for the ride in the build. And uh, at any time, if you have questions or even suggestions and tips, please feel free to leave comments. Um, this is a build as much for me as it is for you. And uh, we can all learn together and make it a, a really enjoyable process. So for now, thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.